Oh my god. Twenty three? I'm sure there is. Yeah, you're gonna die when you see this. Wow. Oh my god. I know. This is huge. So wait, can we what can we see? Oh wait, there's the tower. Oh we can see it? Kinda, of, barely. It's hard. <laughs> Okay, we have arrived in Toronto. We are staying at the One King West Hotel. It's very cute. It was literally like a four minute drive from the train station, which was a beautiful train station, by the way. I'm fixing my hair because I straightened it yesterday on my own, which, you know, I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, but it really is not holding up very well. So I'm fixing that a little bit. But we just got to the hotel, it was ready early, which we were kind of worried about. But our room was ready, and he upgraded us for free to what they call, he called it a tower room, right? The slightest view of the CN Tower. Now we can just kind of freshen up a little bit, get cute, and go on to our activities. So what is today? Today is Friday, February 16th. We left home, Chicago, on Thursday night. Five o'clock, we drove to Detroit, Michigan, about five hours, and we got to Nanny's mom's house at like 11.30, 11.45. We didn't even sleep. We napped there from like midnight to 3 a.m., and then we quickly got up, put on the same clothes we were already wearing the day before, and we drove 37, ooh, 37 minutes across the border to Windsor to the like train station there and we took the via rail, via rail four hours here to Toronto. I feel fine I'm definitely tired but I do think it's worth it because our train tickets round trip for both of us so like total what we paid just under three hundred dollars is like 290 something and wait that's actually Canadian I think so technically it should be yeah, it's a little bit better. less than that in US dollars. That's what we've been up to. We're pretty exhausted and not looking my best, but I'm fixing that now. First stop will be St. Lawrence Market, which they have a bunch of food and little like shops. I don't really know. Vendors, I guess. So we're gonna go there, get some food first thing, and I don't know, maybe there will be some cute souvenirs there, I don't know. I usually don't like to get souvenirs on my first day somewhere, I don't know why, I just don't. But yeah, and then we'll be going to Little Canada at two o'clock. That's all. <laughs> I know my 
audio is going to be really bad. But there, it's like a farmer's market, and they also have like food to eat now, and like shops and stuff. It's two floors. It's really great. We just got this cheese ravioli. This girl was having samples. It is the best thing I've ever had. So it's cheese ravioli with a combo sauce that is tomato sauce, pesto sauce, and alfredo. So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Some shopping. Definitely need to get maple syrup before we leave. Hi, how are you? Um, can I get the smoky chai latte with almond milk? Is that good? Like, do a lot of people like that? Okay, perfect. I will get that. Oh wait, look at me in my cute little hat. I have a smoky chai latte that was seasonal, but they kept it on because it was just that good. Let's try it. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. No, no it's good. Oh. It's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. It's not blazing, but it is hot. He's trying. Wildlife. I cannot take myself seriously with these earmuffs and the glasses. It's a lot. We are currently walking on our way to Little Canada. We decided to walk because it was literally only like a 10 minute walk, but we didn't realize it was gonna take us through Dundas Square, it's a shortened version, and it's like not comparable, but Times Square in Toronto. We're actually gonna come here, I don't know if it's tomorrow or Sunday, but here's a little preview. Wow, so cool. We just checked our coats. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here, but I'll give a little sneak peek and then I will discuss later. So cool. Wow. A couple of There's kind of a lot going on right now, but we just left Little Canada and it was amazing. And amazing. Little. So, like, I don't even want to use the word cute because. Like, it almost belittles it. Yeah, it almost belittles it. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> you basically get to see all of Canada. Like they had little Niagara, little Toronto, little Quebec. Ottawa. Yeah, they had everything. It was really cool. Very interactive kind of. And just like the artistry, I guess I should say. Really cool. On our way out, we needed a little, we needed a little like pick me up. So we went to Tim Hortons, which does exist in Michigan but I've never had it. Very delicious. So cool. Okay, we just got back from all of our activities of the first half of the day. I pretty much vlogged everything, so I did a good job, so I don't have much explaining to do, but I wanted to give a little haul of what I got at the St. Lawrence Market, which we weren't even sure if like this should be included in our itinerary. It was almost like a, uh, maybe not, but I'm so glad we went because they, it is sort of, I mean, it's a food market, so they sell like meats, cheeses, fruits, veggies, all of that. So obviously we're not buying groceries, but they also have yummy, yummy food and coffee and souvenirs. So it was cool. And then we, mm. when we went to the Little Canada Museum, we learned that that is one of the biggest or the biggest like food markets in the world. I don't know, <laughs> but it was really, really cool. So I'm so glad we went. I already knew that I wanted to get a hat really bad. I want to get some sort of t-shirt or like long sleeve or crew neck. I don't know, probably just a t-shirt. And then we, they had maple syrup there. So I knew I needed to get that as well. So I found this hat. I think I look super cute wearing it. So got her. And then the only other things I got, I actually think I got a video of it though at the market, but I got a maple syrup, 
This little one was like $7. I got one for us for our home and then I also got one for my mother. Now we're home. We're going to chill for a little bit and recharge ourselves and our devices. And warm up. And warm up. Mr. Sir over there is frozen. <laughs> Next, we're going to this pop-up actually that Manny found on TikTok. It is called Milk Up. I actually read that the brand is trying to like their whole purpose is they want people to drink milk again. Like real milk, yeah. He gave a snake face. Mm -hmm. Instead of almond milk, oat milk, soy milk, all that. Um, but anyway, they do like free events, I guess, and they're having a milk up at the Benchway. I don't know what that is, but another cool area, assuming everything should be free. It's five to nine, not six to nine. Sorry. So, and I wanna get there early because I don't want them to be like, oh, we ran out of all the free stuff, I already told them this. Um, so they should have ice skating, which I don't know if we'll do, but maybe bracelet making, grilled cheese, hot chocolate, and just like fun stuff. Thanks, have a good one. This is cool. So cool, look at the pretty lights. Oh my God, it is. Yeah, I don't think I'm here for this. It looks really cool. But the line literally goes all the way over there. I think it's a no for me. Walk over there, are we? Whew. I'm actually frozen right now. That line was literally like wrapped around and it's too cold to be standing in that for some free bracelets that I won't wear and grilled cheese that might not even be good. We checked our list of things we liked, like restaurants we like. I can't even talk, it's so cold. Prince Street Pizza is like somewhere over there. So it was like a nine minute walk from where we were. So we're walking there. But look at this gorgeous view. That is our walk. Look at these ones too. I don't need me. But Saturday. Currently 8.20. I got up like I guess 8 o'clock. Trying to get to this breakfast place at 9 a.m. So we need to leave in like 20 minutes. Do a little bit of makeup and update you on what happened last night. Um, I think I left off when we were eating pizza. So after that we walked around that area a little bit. So we went to Prince Street Pizza which is really close to it's like right next door to the well. There was like a bookstore there around the corner, a couple of bars. So we went to this place called Paris, Texas. It's like a sports bar. It was beautiful on the inside, but it was only like 6 p.m. So it was pretty empty, which was great. We sat at the bar, got some drinks. I had my first drink since early December because I got COVID the first week of December. So we drank, we had some appetizers. We Ubered back home and we showered and got in bed because we were so tired and I'm still so tired. Like I said, today, breakfast, I'm really excited about. We're going to this place called The Morning After. They open at nine, they don't do reservations, so that's why we're getting there early. And then we're going to the CN Tower today. We're going all the way to the top. That should be fun. I don't know what else is on the itinerary, but very excited for day two. I just need to finish my makeup and then get dressed and we'll be out. Approaching the CN Tower. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, it's huge. Look. <laughs> that is wow. crazy. Because I don't forget I've done the Sears Tower. Well, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 15 seconds? Usually it takes 58 seconds. Oh, 58. Oh, my ears are hurting. Wow. Where are we going? Wow. I, I know you do. I have this. Is this is my project for the whole car. And it's the Wow. 
going down. Oh man. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy. I gotta tell them about the CN Tower. Long story short, it was so, so, so cool to be up there. It was great. And we went to the gift shop. We both got stuff. And now we are in Kensington Market. So this is where we are. It's like a bunch of shops and stuff. I'm gonna get coffee at Little Pebbles right there. So can I do a hot, like whatever the smallest size of the tiramisu latte? Do you have almond milk? hotel it is 303 so we've been gone all day we went to Kensington Market which is like this just like area where they have a bunch of food shops a lot of vintage and thrift stores I had that tiramisu latte which was delicious and then we did a lot of shopping so I wanted to give a little haul this is the crew neck that I got at the CN Tower it's so cute oh, I also got a postcard to send to my granny one of the stores in Kensington bungalow i got these earrings they had a lot of like bags jewelry accessories and i got these little dior earrings they were only 15 dollars. i just thought they were so cute how they have the little like pearls and little diamonds got those i think that's that's all i got money on mr sir on the other hand basically the same that i got but in gray with blue text Oh, one of the stores in Kensington, it was a big market and he got a bunch of honey sticks. Six by eight market, also in Kensington. Basketball like trading cards. And from this store also, or this place had a bunch of cool stuff from like different artists. I saw first. The coolest crew neck ever. They also had such good food there. A bunch of like tacos, burgers, that types of stuff. We went to this place and got just chips and guac. We really needed some water and just to sit down. This place was known for their margaritas, so we had to get one to try. Really, really, really good. And also the chips and guac were good too. Now we're home, it's just after three, and we're gonna have our little recharging moment. My nap will be in my crew neck. Here is the outfit of the night. We are going to Arcadia Earth. It's basically like an art exhibit that's like interactive and everything about like how whatever we're doing to the earth affects the earth, but in a cool way. I'm probably doing this horribly, but anyway, I'm excited to go. From there, we're gonna go to the distillery district, which was kind of like a maybe on our, I like looked it up again and I think we should go. It looks really cool. They have, they do have like shops and events sometimes, but I'm thinking the shops would probably be closed when we get there. Um, but they have like restaurants and bars and stuff. So that's probably what we'll do for dinner. Here's my bag that I got thrifted when we went together. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready. Outfits of the night. Oh, he's got the fancy shoes. Handcrafted tap shoes. Head to Arcadia Earth. Then, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Wow. Cool. This place is cool. Oh yeah. 
at the Wonder Museum. Look. There's us. Cool. And then when you move around, but I'm hoping for some lights. Sounds yummy. I'd go there. Go there. Yeah. I'm taking these Array bloat pills. I'm so glad I brought them. I just took two. I'm taking them dry because we don't have any water up here and we asked for it on our way inside. But it still hasn't made its way up here. My tummy is hurting so bad. It's not from anything we ate. It's because my leather pants are too tight around my waist because I got them hemmed when I, before I turned 25. We just got home. Arcadia Earth was awesome. It was really cool. Interact. It was, we were there for just under an hour, but we were going pretty fast. A lot of good information, very interactive. And they have this app that you can either download on your phone or like it's a really big app. So they also have the option for you to like just borrow an iPad from them. They have things all across the museum that you like scan and then you can like look through on the device and like get more information and it's like 3D, whatever. So that was cool. Then we Ubered over to the distillery district, walked around just a tiny bit and then went to, I think it was called Spirit House Toronto. Had some awesome drinks and shared some yummy food. Again, we're having an early night. It's only 9.12 and we're here. But yeah, we're about to shower, get ready for bed and probably watch another episode of Love is Blind. So we will see you tomorrow morning for the last day. Sunday is the last day, but we don't leave until like, di like after dinner time. So it'll still be a very fun day. Saying goodbye to our hotel room. All right, we are actually don't know what this area is called at all. Sure says something. But we are getting breakfast at a place called Old School, but they don't open until nine, which is when our reservation is. And we got here early at 845. Um, so we're just kind of walking around and everything else is closed as well. So that's fun. Old school. Breakfast. <laughs> so this is cute. to the aquarium. It was definitely more geared towards kids. I mean, I love an aquarium, so I enjoyed it. I'm so glad we went. But since it's Ripley's Aquarium, I guess I was expecting just really cool stuff because it's Ripley's, but instead it was just a lot of interactive kids stuff because it's Ripley's, which again, like I said, is fine. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. We cool. spent about one hour there, <laughs> even though, Two and a half hours yeah, there. like on the FAQs, it was like, estimated 2.5 so that's what we like plan for but i'm not upset because we've done a lot of walking the last couple of days really? hey 
Okay, I think this is where we came to. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Um, can I get a, like whatever the smallest sizes of a hot um, chai latte? With, would it be good with the toasted marshmallow? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll get that. And then can I get almond milk? Thank you. The toasted marshmallow chai. Do you want to try it? Mm. I think you're going to like it. Right. it's getting dark already. It's only been a couple hours. We stopped back at St. Lawrence Market, which is actually like down there a little bit behind us. Um, just to like go in there one more time, look around because that place is really cool. Highly recommend St. Lawrence Market. And then we just got like a little smoothie slash like early dinner slash got leftovers for the train ride um, at a vegan place called fresh kitchen and bar really really yummy and they had a happy hour from three to five so we got that and but yeah that's about it we are walking back to our hotel gonna grab our bags because we left them there this morning and then we're gonna take a quick uber to the train station and head back home we have a long another long travel day ahead of us but that is the Toronto vlog coming to an end. And look what's behind us. My big head is in the way. Bye. All right, bye until next time.